What's going on guys? So we're probably at the coldest week of the year this past week. It warmed up a little bit yesterday and today. So I'm thinking the fish should be pretty active with the warmer water compared to the colder water they had the last several days. So we're going to be starting out fishing my Mojo Bass uh, medium fast, 7 foot 1. And I'm probably just going to tie on a little soft plastic hologramite on a 1 8 ounce jig head. We'll toss that thing around. Got about an hour and a half to fish today. So I hope the fish cooperate. Alright, here's the lure I mentioned. It's a uh, Nico Helgramite soft plastic on a 1 8 ounce jig head. So I had a lot of success with this, especially on this lake with peacocks and large mouths. Just going to try to work this as slow as I can while keeping it out of the weeds. This lake is very weedy. I'm just trying to work it right over the top of the weeds, giving it a couple little jerks and jigs here and there. Fish on. Let's go. Large mouth, I think. Yeah, first fish of the day. Come on up here. All right, certainly not a huge fish, but decent size. I don't know what it is, probably 14 inches, maybe a little bit bigger, 15 maybe. So good start, only been here about five minutes. So let's get this guy back and let's keep going. So Helgramites are an interesting little uh, lure. So Helgramites are just the larval stage of a uh, Dobson fly, which basically is just kind of like a gnarly dragonfly. And normally Helgramites are found uh, definitely north of South Florida and in rivers and creeks. Not necessarily lakes and definitely not in South Florida. So I was skeptical the first time uh, I used these little Helgramites, but they, these are probably the best soft plastic lure I've ever used down here in South Florida for largemouths and peacocks. So sometimes match the hatch works, and sometimes, I don't know, they just like something else. There's definitely no native Helgramites or natural Helgramites in these bodies of water, but the fish love these little things. Fish on, little guy. Oh, he spit it. A oh, little large mouth. All right, so not a great day so far. Been here probably about an hour. Got a half hour left to fish. Caught one large mouth. Lost this one here, and I missed a hit from another fish, which I'm not sure what it was. So let's see if we can get a couple more here. fish on. Oh, this is a nicer one, I think. Large mouth again. Let's not lose this guy. Come on in here. All right, nothing over the top impressive, but after losing a couple fish, I'm glad to get one more. About the same size as the first, but this guy fought a whole lot better. So let's get this guy back. Hope we can get one more. All right, I don't know. This might do it. Fish on. Small guy. Little large mouth. Oh, just just fell off. I uh, can't believe how many fish I lost today. 
I mean, I guess technically I got that one on the bank, but I think that is going to do it. I have had some bad luck today. Fish on. Another little large mouth. Come on up here. All right, you know, every time I say that's it, I end up making another cast. I end up at least getting another bite. So this time we landed one, smallest one of the day, but our third one. So I think I'm back to 500. I ended up catching three and losing three. Alright, so that is going to do it. Ended up getting my hands on three fish. I think I lost just as many, then I missed another one or two hits from some other fish. I'm noticing that the smaller the fish, the harder it is to get a hook set. And I guess that's just kind of physics. Uh, the bigger the fish, you can kind of use the fish's body weight against it when you're setting the hook. When the fish is small, it's tough to get that hook to set because there's just no weight behind it to actually like help get that hook in there. So, didn't lose any big ones today, which is great. All the ones I lost were fairly small. But the Mojo Bass came through, it's a nice strong rod, and the little Nico Helgramite, even though there's really no uh, natural prey that looks like this, uh, this is a solid lure. Got me, I don't know, seven, eight hits today, landed three. It's worked well for largemouths and peacocks down here in the past. So one of my new go-to lures is the Nico Helgramite. Still pretty good day, got a little wet. Hope you guys liked it, and I will see you next time.